and it was a fiery one. The fourth Republican presidential debate right here on PIX11 taking place last night at the University of Alabama. And the candidates not holding back at all with Iowa's caucuses less than six weeks away. They clashed on stage attacking one another, their positions on the issues, and the person who wasn't on the stage, former President Donald Trump. Washington correspondent Trevor Shirley live for us in Tuscaloosa this morning with a recap of what happened. You had a late night, as did I, my friend. And this was a fiery final debate with the four on stage. Hey there, Dan and Hazel. Good morning. Yes, certainly got very fiery at a lot of different points of uh, that debate last night. All of those candidates each trying to really carve out a lane for themselves, while at the same time, so much of the polling that we're seeing shows that former President Donald Trump remains miles ahead. For all the policy debate that happened, I'm going to have fees on remittances from foreign workers when they send the money back to foreign countries, we're going to tax it, and we're going to build the wall with that. That's why we need to end all normal trade relations with China until they stop murdering Americans with fentanyl. There was plenty of sniping among the four candidates on stage. You do guilty. this at every debate. I'll just, I'll you exactly say, what no, I'm don't I'm interrupt me. I didn't do. interrupt you. Governors Ron DeSantis and Chris Christie, Ambassador Nikki Haley, and Vivek Ramaswamy all appeared at the fourth GOP presidential debate. But former President Donald Trump, the leader of their pack by nearly 50 points in some polls, skipped out again. We've had these three acting as if the race is between the four of us. The fifth guy, who doesn't have the guts to show up and stand here. Christie hit Trump hard, his opponents less so. I'm the only one running for president that has beaten these people on issue after issue. Other topics included the economy, parental rights, border security, and the war in Israel. It would is. you send American troops in to rescue I those hostages? I would absolutely, absolutely. And that debate was hosted by our 24-hour cable network, News Nation. It comes just 40 days before the Iowa caucuses. Tough to believe we're only about a month away from voting actually starting. That's the latest here in Tuscaloosa. Dan and Hazel will send it back to you guys in New York. Yeah, just